The next uh, new features we're going to talk about in uh, version 13 with belt analyst has to do with the uh, the belt tensions and specifically the local belt tensions um, in uh, areas such as the transitions from head and tail and uh, vertical curves and even turnovers if they're present. Um, so you'll see here on this uh, screen we have a, a red tab on the belt. If we click on that you can see the advanced belt tab which we just talked about in the previous uh, video and you can see that the uh, uh, red labels are um, for uh, lowest local tension location. In other words, we have some low tensions uh, below our, uh, our allowable at the uh, tail transition. Um, so if you look up here at the top of the tab, you see there's uh, two additional ta uh, uh, tabs here on this, in this form, uh, transitions and turnovers. If we go to the transitions tab, you see the uh, head transition is def defined as uh, as location number eight, which is the uh, which is the head pulley, and the tail transition is here is defined as uh, location one, which is the exiting the tail pulley. You can see there's a, um, a transition length here drawn in at 2865 millimeters. The uh, trough depth is defined as 50 uh, percent. In other words, the the head pulley is raised 50% uh, of the trough depth of the first full trough depth idler. The actual tensions running Excel and D-cell have been uh, have been uh, pulled in from the calculations, and uh, then the highest local stresses are uh, are shown here along with the uh, safety factor based on those stresses. Uh, for for the virgin belt and the splice and then there's also low tension calculations so if you look over here when when I click on this uh, on this uh, transition head transition you see the, the, the graphic over here shows um, the plots of those tensions across the belt width the uh, black line is the running tensions the blue is the starting and the pink is the stopping um, and you can kind of see how that falls in with the rating of the belt and uh, uh, you can see here everything's okay there's no red um, if I was to change this transition length to something much shorter you can see there that we have high tensions and we have low tensions and we have a, a lot of things red we'll blank that out um, if I have a full Full trough depth, in other words, the uh, the pulley is not raised at all. Then uh, you can see the default for the, the default transition length uh, uh, got quite a bit bigger. But the red down here is in the uh, the tail transition. If I click on that, you can obviously see negative tensions in the middle of the belt based on this transition. You can see those those tension highlighted in red. I need to get rid of those. I can uh, extend this transition length and uh, see if I can get rid of them. And you can see there I've gotten rid of them for running and acceleration. I still have a little bit on D-cell. I may decide I want to accept that. Um, I may uh, raise the pulley a little bit, although that's not typical in a tail transition. but. Things could be done there to uh, to improve this situation, and you can see the summary here on the uh, on the main page. Um, if I have turnovers in this belt, I can click the turnover button, and same thing happens here. The calculations are done. There's a default uh, turnover length length here calculated at 36 meters. Um, uh, one intermediate roll set is vertical rollers. Uh, position in the middle of the turnover. If I have three uh, intermediate rollers, that means I have uh, uh, rollers at a 45 degree angle at the midpoint, at the uh, one third and the two thirds point in the uh, transition. Same calculations, high tensions, uh, local safety factors in the version belt, uh, the local safety factors in the splice, and the low tension numbers. And uh, if I wanted to get rid of these. Uh, low sag numbers. I got a couple things I can do. Uh, one of them is uh, is raise the take up up. I could increase the uh, 
the take up tension which which might help you can see the numbers a little better or possibly extending the the uh, turnover length um, various things you can see the plots again and uh, what the stresses across the belt width look like the third place if we go back here to the uh, belt tab you can see uh, again it's highlighted where the where the deficiencies are um, the third place where we actually do these calculations is in the uh, the uh, vertical curves if I open us up you see two new columns here in the vertical curve categories the local center tensions and the local edge tensions are calculated for each of our vertical curve um, vertical curves and based on the radius that we we select and uh, so uh, if I change this curve radius you'll see uh, uh, these tensions change as well 